Hi guys, this is Parts and welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit and edit us a wedding picture. And this time, it's gonna be a little bit different because in this tutorial, I will edit a this wedding picture. So, let's get it started. So, this is the picture I'm gonna edit today. And let's zoom in and see. Uh, look at this area. It's not perfect. So if you want, you can crop this area and but I don't want to crop because this is a huge area. Uh, I want to copy from here and fill those area and then maybe I will apply some little bit crop. So for this, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. So pick your clone stamp tool. Okay, through the clone stamp tool, you can copy a area and then paste where you want. So for the copy or for selecting the area. At first you need to press and hold alt and click and select the area you want to copy and i want to copy these leaves from here and paste on the blank area and another tip is press and hold alt and right click on the mouse and if you drag it to the right it will increase the brush size and if you drag it to the left it will decrease the brush size and if you drag it to the up it will decrease the hardness and if you drag it to the down it will increase the hardness so i'm gonna use a soft brush you can first copy the layer by pressing ctrl and z and now select the area let's see how it works this is perfect wow it looks good it's fine that's good I think now it's fine look at this before and after this was the before it looks just a blank area and now it's fine and now you can crop it a little bit just a little not too much I think yeah this is perfect so this was the before and this is after it looks better now and now I have to remove the blemishes let's zoom in Okay, our skin is so good, so I don't need to worry too much. Just create a new layer and select a spot healing brush tool and make sure you activated the sample all layers. And I'll just click. So I think this is fine. It's done. And now I want to apply a retouching action and you will get this action totally free. Link is on the description. You can download and use. So before applying the action, press and hold shift, control, alter and E to merge all the layers into a single layer. And go to the action panel. If you don't find here, just go to the window and activate the action. And now click play. That's good. Let's zoom in and see. I think 17 is too much. You can see those area are too much. I think so. Decrease it. Just also to I think eight or ten. Maybe ten is good. Okay, that's fine. Press OK. And now. 2.5 i think this is too much you can see those area are not perfect so increase it gradually and see 3.6 let's see with 4 or 3.3 oops 3.3 or 3.5 Okay, I'm going with 3.7. Now press OK. And now just paint on the skin. Just like this. Let's zoom in. 
the strings. Okay, don't paint over the edges. This is a very useful action. It works very good and I love this. So let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. Look at this harsh area. Look at this. Those harsh areas are blended perfectly. So it works well. And now I want to add some shine on the skin. So for this press again shift plus control plus alter plus E to merge all the layers into single layers and then copy it. By pressing Ctrl and Z of course and hide the first layer and then layer 4 and then go to the blending option. And now change the blending mode to screen. And click on this point and drag it to the right. Just like this. Let's zoom in a little bit. And now press and hold Alt to split this. And now blend properly. Just like this. Add some shine. I think this is perfect. Let's see the preview. This was the before and this is after. Look at the shine. It's perfect. Now press OK. And then active the layer for copy. And then again go to the blending option. And now change it to multiply. And now click on this little icon and drag it to the left. Press and hold Alt and click on this icon and split them. And now just blend just like before I think this is perfect a little bit no and now press ok so it's done and now select the two layer and now press ctrl and z to make a group and then click on the mask icon then go to the image and select your apply image that's good and now press ok See the before and after. This was the before and this is after. It looks great. But the effect is applied on the whole image. We don't want it. So right click on the layer and select here group from layers. And now press OK. And create a mask again. Press Ctrl and I to fill it with black. And now pick a soft white brush and just Look at this. So it's perfect. And there's some shine here. This is really good. Perfect. So I'm happy with this. Let's see before and after. This was the before and this is after. It's really good. Decrease the opacity because it's always too much. I think yeah 57% works well. That's perfect. And now I will color grade it on camera raw. For this again press shift plus ctrl plus ultra plus e to merge all the layers into a single layer and then convert it to a smart object and then open it with camera raw filter. And now press Q to see the before and after. And now go to the basic option. And now I want to add some contrast. So increase it. I think around 20 is good. And decrease the highlights. I think minus 88 looks fine to me. 
and bump up the shadows around 55 percent is perfect i think i should decrease the white a little bit it depends on the image actually so let's see how it works and increase the black sorry decrease the black i think minus 13 looks good and increase the text a little bit and i think yeah 17 or 15 i think 15 is perfect and add some clarity also i think around 10 looks good this is perfect and now add some vibrance around 30 and saturation 9 is perfect and look at the before and after it looks already beautiful okay and then go to curves okay we will apply the curves later now go to the sharpening and if you want you can add some sharpness to your image and press and hold alt and click on the mask and now you can see where the sharpness is applied so i am giving like this that's perfect and color noise reduction i am giving 25 that's fine and now go to the color mixer option and come to the hue let's see with the red i think yeah not too much i think i'm giving plus eight for the red and then eight for the green and look at this area i think minus 100 for echo that's good and then go to the saturation option and i want to increase the saturation of red of course because of the color of shari and lipstick and also the leaves that's good and now increase the orange just a little because in the skin it looks too much so i think minus five is good and increase the yellow i think 50 58 is good and now look at the ornaments and these lights it looks perfect that's fine and also increase the green i think 85 is perfect and i think i should increase the magenta because the color of sherry i think 68 is perfect it's good okay let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after look at these colors it looks good and now come into the split toning option and in the highlights i want to add a i think okay let's increase it and now see i think a little bit cooler color this time and saturation i should i think three is perfect and in the shadows i want to give a little bit warmer color so for this little bit yellowish and greenish color in the shadows and increase the saturation i think four is perfect and now come into the effects and i want to add some vignette so i am giving minus 14 yeah it looks good and now into the camera calibration option and into the red primary i'm giving minus 13 it looks good and decrease the saturation a little bit minus five it's perfect and into the green i am giving yeah not too much i'm giving 15 that looks good and into the blue primary i increase the saturation look at the colors i think 49 is good it looks really good now look at see the before and after it's totally different image and now come into the curves and this part is totally depends on you if you want you can add some faded look because it's a little bit trendy nowadays so simple just create a three famous point into the curves and bring this little bit up i think this is perfect so i think this is fine look at this before and after look at the colors looks really good i know when you are done press okay let's see the before and after here this was the before 
and this is after color grading let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is up it looks really great so the basic color grading and basic retouching and editing is done and now i want to add some little thing to make it more beautiful so let's see how it works okay create a new layer and you can see there are some lights i want to increase those lights with colors and for this i am choosing a orange color and make your brush a little bit bigger and always soft i think i should make it a little bit bigger more and just click and change the blending mode to a screen i think i should make it a little bit bigger press ctrl and t and then make it a little bit more bigger i think yeah it's fine look at this this was the before and this is after look at the difference it creates a glow and now create another layer and click here also change the blending mode to screen look at this before and after and make it a little bit smaller create a new layer and just a click here and now change the blending mode to screen look at this this is a before and this is after create another layer and just a click change the blending mode to screen look at this it looks great so make a group of all these by pressing ctrl and z and look at this before and after just a simple thing but it creates a glow so let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after let's zoom out and see this is the before and this is after so it's done and i hope you will love this tutorial love this technique and if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe